Hey everybody, it's Own Kill here, and we are back with our new playthrough. Um, we're here with uh, SpongeBob SquarePants, the movie. Um, I really didn't know what I wanted to do for next playthrough uh, at the time I finished Mortal Kombat Shadow Monks, because I kind of finished that really fast. It was only like, what, three parts? Um, so this was kind of like a safety net type of uh, playthrough, because I didn't really didn't know what I wanted to do, so I just said, eh, I did do Battle for Bikini Bottom, so I might as well do the movie. I didn't want to do it back to back, but I also have a good memory with this game. Uh, throughout, like, the, like, early end of my middle school to start high school, I used to play this game a lot more, because I didn't have a way to play my Battle for Bikini Bottom on fucking Xbox or PS2. I had the uh, the PS3 uh, version of this game, you know, with all the bro broken graphics and emulated shit. But I don't like this game as much as I like Battle for Bikini Bottom, but it's still an insanely good game, though. You know, it's not a bad game. Unfortunately, I can't show off the cutscenes because, well, they kind of even pictures of the movie kind of. It's a little sketchy, so I'm not gonna show those cutscenes. Some in-game cutscenes I will show, kind of like, um, kind of like what I did for my other playthroughs, where I don't really show up every cutscene. I just show up the stuff that I like to see most of the times. All right, let's start this up. Uh, can I show this first cutscene? It's been it's been a minute. It's been a while since I played this game. I almost saw I'm not. 100% in this game either. Uh, I'll get all the goofy uber tokens, but the chest, no, I'm probably not gonna do. I'll get as many as I can. Like, I'll get the ones I know. Welcome to our little yeah, I can't show this. But, uh, these I can show. This, this is perfect. Right. I, I, can't believe I hope. This is happening here. It's horrible! Oh, thank Neptune, my manager is here. Talk to me, crabs. It started out as a simple order. A Krabby Patty with cheese. So what went wrong? When the customer took a bite. No cheese! Oh, this has never happened before! <laughs> oh! Get a hold of yourself, <laughs> Eugene. I'm going in. Uh, sorry about my, my... My voice sounds a little... Damn, that shit is loud. Hold on, turn it down a little bit. Uh, sorry that my voice is a little... Uh, my voice is a little nasally right now. I had just woken up. Um, I wanted to get this recording Never session out the way. Oh, right. So the controls are still the exact same, except instead of a bubble one, we have the, uh, what's it called, like the karate spin in this game or something? But other than that, everything is still pretty much the same, except I have to unlock the other abilities I used to have. Damn! Oh, folks can't drive for shit. Always kind of wanted to do. Well, it's not that difficult to do a uh, like a no upgrades because that's what the. Uh, I chose off too. I actually like this cutscene. <laughs> Bitch! <laughs> That's the thing I do like about this game is that every enemy, I think, I think every enemy has like a little showcase of what they do. Uh, these guys aren't very dangerous, but they're a lot more dangerous than their Battle for Bikini Bottom counterpart. Just running into them hurts you. It's a short slide from manager to, well, not manager. Because before, uh, you could like play around with them before they actually decide to shock you. Manager coming through. Uh. See what extra you have just earned. Go to the extra section on the options menu. Who the fuck said that? Thank you, mysterious person that I don't know yet in the story. Fuck! I went in the box. I wanted to do it again anyway. You unnecessary cutscene. We're men. Yeah, but I do like how there's a showcase for every enemy in the game. I believe. I'm pretty sure there's. Kind of tells you prepared. what their gimmick is and what they do. Ow. So, yeah, I didn't get to explain it because it's 
to the bottom of the top right is we don't have a currency in this game. We have what are they called? Manly points, if I remember correctly. So the moment I hit 250, I get my first upgrade. Uh, I usually get health last because, well, it's pretty easy not to get hurt in this game unless you just get fucked over. Select. Do I have a select button? I do. Okay. <laughs> Um, I like to get Star Spin first since SpongeBob's level is basically a tutorial. It's it's a lot useful for Patrick. I don't know how many missions I'm gonna do today. Cause shit, actually, let me count. Let me count how many missions are in here. It's 18 missions, and some of these are a lot smaller because of the. Uh... Please tell me. Uh, so I might just do these first three levels. Since this is basically a tutorial level, and Patrick's level is actually like an actual level, and then we have our very first, uh, our first Patty, uh, mission. It sounds weird when I say it out loud like that. Oh, that, that music was going in. Hold up. Um, yeah. yeah, here's the end of the mission right here. You gotta jump on that little, that little bounce pad right there and there's the end of the mission. Yeah, like I said, this is really just a tutorial, so it's very, very short. I only made it longer by messing with settings. Don't worry, I'll be adding that out like I usually do. If I, you know, don't forget it. Boing. There is our first goofy Uber token. They're the golden spatulas of this game. If you've never played this game. Hey, buddy, come on, wake up. Huh? Where am I? It's eight in the morning. Close. Look like you're trying to get out of here. Hey, buddy, come on up here and join the party. That motherfucker bounced off the wall. That dude should be dead, but okay. we just witnessed some murder in a uh, particle. So, uh, what the fuck was that? Oh, the dude pissed off. So, like I said, I like getting the very first upgrade. Uh, I'll be able to figure out how to get rid of that glow in the next part. I'm not going to need to do it right now. I just want to do this. Uh, so the upgrade for the, um, the spin, by the way, uh, it gives you more range and gives more range, more damage, and, uh, and a mechanic that we can't use yet. There's, there, isn't a, there isn't an enemy with projectiles yet that we can actually use this mechanic on. So I believe, I think even with the basic, uh, the basic spin, you still one shot those guys. Maybe just a two shot, most likely. But your spin becomes really sh like if you don't do a no upgrade run, your spin becomes really bad. Like by halfway through the game, because like regular enemies take like three or four hits to kill, and it takes them forever. That's where you can really die a lot. Because I believe they get more HP. Like I said, remember with this game is not as great as Battle for Bikini Bottom. I love this. What's up, Patrick? You have got to try this new dot room game. Duck! Where? Fucking remember that guy. Be. Ugh! Yeah, so those guys are basically the, uh. What did they call them about for The hammers. Yeah, the dudes with the big ass ham on their. On their stick. Pause. <laughs> um, yeah, they're basically just a hammer, but they swing a lot faster in this game. Like, they just they swing way much faster. They swing faster and they recover faster. They pretty much just spit up their animations. It's kind of like the PS3 version or the the glow. I missed you guys. I mean, it's just got hot duking off the screen, and they're dead. Man, you got a lot in this place. So, fun, 
funny thing about this game. Damn, uh, I used to have this game on the GameCube, but it was really, really scratched. So, because it was scratched, those, I don't even know what they're even called, the dudes that burp at you, they're, um, their little green smoke that would come out of their mouth, or, yeah, out of their mouth, wouldn't pop up at all. So they were basically a useless enemy that did no damage to me. Like, no matter what they did, their little breath attack would never come out. So it was kind of funny doing the uh, little combat arena minigames. And they just, they'd be burping at you and they, it doesn't do anything. And there's like a fucking, like, 30 of them. I'm glad it told me because I forgot what button it was. Alright, um, grab these manly points, nice, Patrick, if you bring me more Goofy Goober tokens, I can grant you the cartwheel move. Who are you people? Whatever that move is. You will. Just bring me more Goofy Goober tokens. Yeah, but Cart was actually like a halfway decent move for Patrick. In terms of all. So, the two ways you can get the Goofy Goober token is by either going down this little secret path right here, or you can do it the funner way. Uh, go to the combat arena. Remember that thing I was talking about like a minute ago? Yeah, it's this right here. Uh, I like how Patrick's on this, but Patrick is Patrick literally only has one of these. All these are SpongeBob, and Patrick has a meme one, which it's, it's Patrick, so kind of makes sense. Uh, we won't see that until way later. It's the very last one in the game. Um, yeah, but a lot of the uh, side, like the side stuff, like this, SpongeBob has two, and Patrick has one. Just spat all over the place. Oh shit! Yeah, so the little green breath, yeah, that used to never come out, so they would just run up and then just no, just do that. <laughs> Nothing would happen to me. It was, I don't know, it was so funny when I was little. So thankfully, these guys are still one-shotable, even without SpongeBob's upgrade. Unfortunately, they don't give you the... If you've noticed, uh, I only get one melee point from these guys, compared to if I would kill them in a, uh... If I killed them regularly, like, you know, outside outside of this. I mean, to be fair, if they did give the actual amount of manly points they usually do, you'd probably be max level before you can get halfway through the game. Alright, so every wave does get a tiny bit harder, so instead of just those burping guys, we have the hammers. They're back again. I should call it the boomers. Oh, no! Yeah, but they can't kill each other. I didn't see that. So you can also knock back uh, enemies into each other, and that also does damage. Kind of like that. I thought it was only when they're dead, but no, it's when they, even when they have, uh, they don't die so good. So right now, this is very simple, since there isn't much enemy types for them to throw at you. It's just these guys and hammers. Pretty sure Wave 3 is the exact same thing, but less of these uh, fat dudes and more hammers. So if you want this to be faster, you can uh, grab the upgraded spin for Spongebob before you come here, if you are struggling for some reason. Because they give you plenty of health, and I believe the health also respawns too. Alright, last wave, 50 enemies, here we go. Oh yeah, way more hammers. I'm spinning! Whoa, man! Leave. Cameras are so deadly in this game. Yeah, they still have that little after damage where they, before he even they hit the ground already. Yeah, that's pretty much what you want to do, is get like a big chunk, and then just spin and let them ricochet into each other. 
That'll kill, slash damage a good chunk of them. Makes it a lot easier to deal with all the fucking enemies! Ow! But you can tank a lot of hits, even with three hits. It's still... It's just too much health for you to, uh... To deal with. They give you more than enough HP to even to face tank a lot of this stuff. Alright, and come here, fat boy. Nice job. And we're done. See, not that hard. This takes place, uh this this technically takes place after uh SpongeBob wakes up and he goes to the uh where he's making the Krusty Krab too and getting the new manager and all that stuff. Time to spin? Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy! You better get going, Patrick. Thank you, Mr. This Lady, that I still don't even know your name, technically. I know it's Smithy, but technically, Patrick, it's Smithy. Shh, don't tell me. Shh, don't tell me. Alright, um, so we're gonna grab these. Uh, I almost called it a golden spatula. I gotta remember this. I'm golden spatulas this game. But in terms of like a plot in the movie, this happens after uh, you know that whole manager scene where SpongeBob is depressed. And they go to here. I love that scene. I love that waiter scene so much. Probably my favorite scene from the early part of the movie. Where? <laughs> now I'm gonna fall on the thing. Okay. I believe he does move a little bit faster. Okay, I feel like he moves faster. And he also pretty much kills everything. Mm, pain. Pretty much kills, yeah, he even one-shots these guys. Punjab was not one-shotting anything. So you, you pretty much you can use just cartwheels and... So welcome to the, uh, our tiers for our melee points. Remember how, like, in Battle for Kingdom Bottom we had, like, the little red shiny objects, yellow, green, uh, like, the light blue and, like, purple? Yeah, same thing here. Reds are 1, yellows are 2, greens are 5, blues are 10, and purple are 50. We're just gonna do this. Alright, new upgrade. I should have another upgrade by the time I get this fun drop, so I'm going to grab the second level cartwheel. Super spin cycle! So basically now I'll go from now the hitbox before was just Patrick. Now he has a little bit of a shield to uh whatchamacallit. It's not that bright. I gotta fix that glowing problem up. We'll do it off the uh, next episode. Alright. Alright, uh Did I count that perfectly? Fuck no, probably not. I'm pretty sure somebody can correct me on that. Put uh, these random jellyfish that appear to fuck off. Uh, if you're struggling with manly points, you can farm it a bit here since they're infinite spawns. I don't need them. Uh, another thing you can do is you can wait for all these guys to spawn. There's two big dudes that need the hammer, and you just press the button all day. So, meet Spongebob out there. Uh, is he still there even when you switch to Spongebob? No, he's not there. So, the, the mechanic I'm gonna turn, I'm out. Don't pick that up yet. So I can get this clarification right here. Yeah, Sonic Wave Guitar Challenge is probably the most... It's honestly the only reason why I was joining. I'm not doing all of the Goofy 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 Man, that shit sucks. Oh my god. But, uh, let's just grab this. <laughs> I don't even want to think about that. That's until way later. That's way, way later. I don't even want to think about doing that right now. Alright. This road will take you through Bikini Bottom to the edge of town. Don't let the paddy wagon take too much damage, or you'll have to start again. Our journey begins. Epic. Heroic. Daring, valiant, courageous! SpongeBob, you're driving a sandwich. Not just Why you gotta disrespect this? Why you gotta disrespect, disrespect it like that? That's a Krabby Patty. Or shit, it's immaculate, probably. I don't know. 
Jeez. Exactly. All right, meet our first driving level, everybody. Um, okay, I almost instinctively hit R2 to drive. <laughs> yep, we got nitro, everybody. Don't ask me what, the, what, what, what you need to boost a Krabby Patty, but shit, apparently you can find it anywhere on the street. I don't even remember the nitro button. Is it L1? R1? And I missed that one. So, these driving levels are, by themselves, they're pretty easy. But to get all the, uh, I'm gonna say Golden Spatch this game, I fucking every time. Uh, to get all the uh, Goofy Goober tokens, that's when it comes with another problem. This first one, not, not so much. Even the second one's not too bad. But the last one, for uh, the last uh, driving mission you have to do, yeah, it kind of gets pretty bad. They're not too strict. Honestly, the time challenges are the, are the easiest one. It's the damn ring challenges, bruh. The ring challenges are not fun in the slightest. I, I, I know I'm gonna have to edit a lot of fails up for that, because God knows who, wants to see, who really wants me to see you mess up a damn ring challenge for like the 30th time. That's why I usually always cut out all my fails, because God, I don't want to see it. I'm pretty sure nobody else wants to see it. This is me getting it. No, okay. Uh, I don't think any which which side you go through matters. Uh, you can also hold the boost button to use it to use it back to back to back. I usually do that. I was trying to scratch my nose, Jack. Trying to scratch my fucking nose. Almost got hit by a car. Oh, y'all suck at construction. What the shit? What is happening? We. You don't need a license to drive a sandwich. <laughs> Another good line for that. So there's not really many ways you can take damage. So health upgrades do not affect the uh uh when you're not playing as the character. So like this and the sliding mini in the uh, sliding missions, you will always have three hits. But honestly, you rarely ever die in the first two like sliding missions. I can't remember how many sliding missions are. No, there's three driving missions. So there's this one, there's this one where you get the uh, the key, then there's the one you come back, I believe. Oh watch her. Oh, watch out. Actually, I'm not doing a time mission. Yep, and there's the other guy. Alright, that's easy work, everybody. You have enough Goofy Goober tokens. Oh. Now I can teach you the bash move. Now I am the master. These motherfuckers would have got down. Fucking. Wow. Those radio towers are broadcasting Plankton's hypnotizing messages. If we don't do something soon, isn't yeah, this that's... a really dangerous desert that no one has ever returned from? Do I have one of those? Uh, no. I think that's the desert next to this one. Oh, how convenient. Oh, well, in that case, I'll have those towers shut down in a jiffy. First, actually, let's do to have a little bit of a longer episode. I was going to about doing three, but so meet this one about doing bash animation. The damn sure you can. Apparently, uh, SpongeBob was tired of his helmet and he started fucking throwing uppercuts instead. That boy sick. I'll stop. How convenient. <laughs> Meat. I'm just gonna call them spitters, because that's pretty much all they do is they spit at you. Um. Well, if you skip the cutscene and weren't paying attention, um. You have to hit them in their butt. Yeah, I'm not going. Yeah, I'm not joking. Uh, if you try to hit them from their, their little lifesaver, 
uh, it does no damage and they just lash at you. If you get hit by their spit, it causes you to base, it gives you an ice effect, it makes you slide. Uh, I don't have SpongeBob's bash upgrade, so I don't insta kill. I'll probably be getting that next over to spin. Unfortunately, your bash is complete. Unlike uh, Patrick's cartwheel, your bash is only only going to be used for just hitting anything above you. Where pretty much Patrick's cartwheel is like a better better spin, honestly. Ah, oh yeah, they also they also like Chuck too, where they read your inputs, they read whatever direction you're going. I'll show you that if you try. You cunt! We. Yeah, that's what happens if you try to hit it normally. Is that enough for a level? Nope. So, remember how, like, the goo in the last game, the water, it's called goo in this, um, never did damage to you? Yeah, so falling off stuff does damage you now so there's no more no more of that anymore I can still one shot these guys let's grab uh, bash all right power bash not too bad the fuck so the bash has now turned to a clearly a fucking bomb. <laughs> Alright, so I did skip over Minion's fucking dialogue. Because honestly most people that are watching this have already played the game before or seen gameplay for it. But pretty much this is our objective is to uh blow up all these towers. That is broadcasting uh Plankton's messages. They're hypnotizing him. That's the reason why all these people are trying to kill us. <laughs> They're all hypnotized fish. <sighs> Alright, even the fucking jellyfish have the bucket helmets on now. Come here. I oh, don't run. You, you, you ain't getting very far. Alright, so here we're gonna have our second uh, uh, bonus mini, uh, bonus mini game. That's kind of the mini game. Uh, my least favorite of the bunch, uh, SpongeBob. Uh, the music is fire for this. I like. Whenever I think of like a bonus area or like a bonus mini game, I either think of Sunshine's music or this song. But I usually think of this one more. I play a lot more of this than I did play Sunshine. I have played Sunshine before. Uh, I didn't get very far into it, and I lost the disc a long time ago. I don't know whatever happened to it. But thankfully, the first one is very, very simple. This shit does not get simple after the first one, or the second one. First, second one, I can't remember. Uh, uh, second one. I used to struggle really hard at this when I was little. Like, extremely hard. It was a thing I did not have when I was, uh... I didn't have patience at all. <laughs> I did not wait. I just I just went forward and I hope for the best. Ugh! Yeah, see, the first one's not bad. So they're right there, right after that. I'm not gonna re-kill those guys again. Platforms and some weirdly, weirdly placed steam. Yeah! Oh, I did it again. Oh my god. 
Ah, I did it again. Whoa! I don't think this one's high enough for me to. Oh no, never mind. Please don't. Oh. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Please don't blow up the. Uh... Oh. <laughs> what the? Yeah, these uh, they get a fucking owl house if they respawn. I never did mention those. Those are respawning things. But you probably already saw them in action and the cutscene. Ooh, they're moving now. It's become sentient. Oh, shut up, Plankton. Let's hit this button real quick to, uh... To go to a, uh... A little bonus thing. A little bonus mini game too. Or I should say a reoccurring, uh, side. Uh, then if they bung back, it is game bung. I just instant do that all the time. I don't know why. And Tokyo. Okay. So a lot of people actually do not know, but there is a uh, there's a treasure chest here, and I believe you actually need the bash upgrade for this. You need a. You actually do need to blow up all the boxes at the same time. So, this is what I was talking about. They bring back the uh, the Munchie stuff again. Uh, works exactly the same as it did about uh, Valkyrie King Bottom. Glitches included. Uh, probably. I'm not 100% sure on that. Uh, yeah, if you get stuck on Underside, you can dive again. Of course, you're getting hit. Kinda does that to you. Alright, that's it. Even in the corners. Oh my god, thank you, Ghost Step. Oh, fuck you, Ghost Step! Please don't hit me. If you would have sniped me out of the sky, I would have ended the episode right there. Oh shit! Right, let me take care of you folks first. Alright, here we have probably my favorite. Honestly, I do like floating block a lot more than I like combat arena. <laughs> Right. So now we get to do platform with Patrick. Oh, right. Cat decided to jump over the gate. Thanks, baby. Uh, all right, you don't have to say anything. That's my cat. Say hello, baby. You gonna, you gonna talk in my recording? That's crazy. All right, I'm just gonna do that. Uh, platforming with Patrick is wow. I'm surprised I made that. It's a lot more harder because uh, he still can't swing in the air. Uh, yeah, he still can't swing in the air. It's completely useless. So technically, platforming is a lot harder. Like if this was SpongeBob, this would be way easier, obviously, because he can st uh, slowly descend himself with spinning. Patrick cannot. Uh, he he's just uh, he's just Patrick. He can't do that. So if you you gotta have at least if you're trying to make. Uh, like speed run like jump, I don't say speed run like jump, but like really tricky jumps, you're gonna have to time it really well because you have no safety net to fall off. But uh, as you probably already know this, I just noticed it. <laughs> uh, we have a timer. Uh, you run out of time, all the blocks disappear, and you die. And have to redo the entire thing over again. Um, I don't know how common this is, by the way. Uh, you can magically save yourself. Um, fucking my whole train of thought. Oh, yeah, this is I'm sorry. That shit goes in. That part right there in the song goes in. I had to, I had to acknowledge that existence right there. Um, I don't know how common it is. I can finish. Uh, but you can clip into these boxes. I have done it before and you are basically... Well, you can uh, always just redo the mission by... Either, you can either... Uh, fucking click on it from here or you can um uh, oh god yeah i forgot about this part let me concentrate because this ah I'm dead. yeah <laughs> mm, i forgot about that fucking that used to make me so sick back in the day kind of still does a little bit it just makes me a little it just, just kind of hurts my eyes a little bit now um fuck, i forgot what's up uh <laughs> Damn you, train of thought. Um, 
focus in. Okay. Oh my god. Alright. Outside of that one death, uh, not too bad. Um, was I talking about clipping through the boxes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's what I was talking about. Yeah, I think that's a really rare thing to happen, but it has happened to me before where I was just stuck inside the box. Even though I knew I could just, you know, just click that and then I'll be perfectly fine again. I didn't. I just stood there for the next three minutes trying to get out. to jump over here and get into a, a baby combat arena challenge. Those dudes got fucked. We. We. Alright, that's a two. I don't know what that sound was. Oh, the music's gone. This ain't this one. Um, so you do need Patrick for a, uh, Patrick gets steamed. <laughs> what do you mean by that? You can actually get over here as one well. I'm gonna attempt it once. Oh my god, first try. That jump is not too hard. Like, in terms of, like, oh, there's fucking music. Uh, in terms of difficulty, it's like a. That's a flight, actually, for stuff I don't think it's not very difficult. Obviously, if you don't know about ghost stepping, you'll jump too early. Please don't. Please don't. Please don't. Die! Leave! Hey! Oh yeah, this, that's where you uh, switch the facts, by the way, if you need to grab that. This hurts me more than it hurts you, evil radio tower. Evil radio tower. Yeah, remember those guys from the movie, how they just kept laughing at you? Yeah, here they fucking die. <laughs> oh, shit! Oh! Weirdly lighted SpongeBob and Patrick. I think they took that shit straight from Now That We're Men, where you destroyed the last TV. I feel like they took that cutscene. That little thing from there. The fact I know that is kind of. <laughs> yeah, so meet our sliding missions, everybody. Um, unfortunately, we are. I am running out of time to record, so. Uh, yeah, I've been going for almost 45 minutes. Um, so. This will be the end of this part. Oh my god, Mr. Krabs. This is like the worst thing about this game is that characters speak in the background. And it fucking distracts me um as i said this will this will be the end of this part um we did four stages already uh i'm probably gonna keep it to three like two or three like if there's two long levels back to back that'll be an episode but if there's i think there's usually like a driving mini game or a sliding mini, uh sliding mini game level uh then it'll probably it'll probably just be started an episode I believe it goes back and forth between one spot and Bob, one badge. Then there's boss fights in this game too that also take place. I think our first one's coming up pretty soonish. Like, well, I don't say soon, kind of like four levels. But that is the end of this episode. I will see you guys because uh, what today is like this will be going up probably Friday or Saturday. So I will see y'all next week. Um, also, stay tuned for more Mortal Kombat stuff. I have pre I've uh, pre-recorded a lot of Mortal Kombat stuff. So, after we finish Deception, we'll also start Armageddon. Right after that, I'm not as good as Armageddon. I'm gonna get that out there. I'm not very good at Armageddon for Deception. Um, but that is all I need to say. I will see y'all next time. This is Kill, and I am signing off.